Our team coverage continues from Mission Valley, where one local business had its warehouse flooded and the owners didn't have flood insurance. Kasha, just how bad was the flooding there? Well, we are outside the native poppy flower shop warehouse here in Mission Valley and take a look at this. All of that water pressure did this to the side of the warehouse. This is one of those large metal doors literally buckling from all of that water, as I mentioned, inside the building here. The owners told me when they arrived yesterday, they found the building filled with about three feet of water. And today we got a look inside at the aftermath came to the door and it looked like an aquarium. It was full of water. This is video from native poppy flower shop co-owner Natalie Gill when she arrived at their Mission Valley Warehouse Monday after record rainfall. I need a video of this for insurance. Nobody's going to believe me that it looks that it was like this. Gill and co-owner Meg Blancato walked us through the warehouse showing the damage left behind. See here in the bathroom again that water line is extremely clear in there just how much water was sitting in there. 70% of the shop's flowers go out via delivery using vans. We had a mechanic come by today and they're tanked completely unsalvageable. While Native Poppy has storefronts in Solana Beach and South Park, this location is their administrative and large scale production headquarters. Even the flowers inside, like everything got upturned and it was just, it, it didn't discriminate. It took everything. This week's flower delivery has been rerouted to the two retail shops and all this damage comes just weeks before Valentine's Day, one of the busiest holidays of the year for business. It's hard to even assess what's going to happen without help without any like financial aid from California or FEMA. The warehouse did not have flood insurance, an issue many San Diegans are facing after the magnitude of rainfall. And to make matters worse, in 2022, a car crashed into Native Poppy's South Park location, causing a six month closure, something owners say they're still recovering from. So they are now really leaning on the community. Gil and Blancato say placing a Valentine's Day pre order or shopping in store would be a big help. We set up a donation page on our website and so you can make a donation if you're in the position to do so and then also just sharing our story with people because you just never know whose hands it can get into who might be able to help in some capacity. Now, Native Poppy also tells us they are getting a lot of offers from people who just want to simply show up and help in person to clean out this building. But at this moment, they are waiting to have the building officially assessed for safety before they let a bunch of people back inside the building. In the meantime, if you do want to help out, you just go directly to their Native Poppy website. We're live in Mission Valley. Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Boy,